It's what, like 30 yards, maybe? Yeah, about 30 yards. Oh my goodness, look at that right there. It's got an iguana on the tank. That's so sick. And then they have all this ammunition right here, y'all. Wow, ammo for days, right? I come here and I stock up because I don't want to get caught without any ammo, especially when there's a giant iguana looking right at me. So there's their contact information, all right? There goes Pablo right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pablo. Flying guns. <laughs> guys, right there is all the information you need. If you guys want to come here, see all the guns for yourself, all the ammunition. If you're new to air guns, Pablo will definitely educate you guys and inform you guys on what's the best thing for, the, for what you're going to need to be doing, all right? So if you want a gun for iguanas, if you want a gun just to shoot targets, or if you want to take down some bigger things. Guys, air gun one is the place. And Pablo right there, he's the man. Thank you, bro. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, the Iguana Man. We're back at you guys with another video. Today, we are going to be iguana hunting with our friend, Gene. What's going on, Ron? What's going on, Gene? Um, tell me a little bit about what we are going to actually be doing and what we're going to be using to do what we got to do. So right now, I'm using my uh, Benjamin Aquila. I'll show you once I'm finished loading up some hybrid slugs. But look, but look, hold on. Look at this ammo that he's using real quick. Look at this, guys. That is not the typical type of pellets that we usually use. What are those, man? So these are FX hybrids. So it's a slug. Whoa. Look at that. Um, are they, does this slide out or? Yes, that's a huge step. Oh. It's got a nice little case. You can reuse it for whichever other ammunition you want to use. And these are slugs? Yes. So these don't have any gunpowder in them? Those do not have any gunpowder or anything like that. What? These are 22s? Those are 22. What are the difference between these slugs and the pellets that I'm usually usually using? So you have a better ballistic coefficient. Choose between shooting slugs and pellets. The slugs, you'll be able to use them for longer distances. So you want to use 100 yards and further. Shooting slugs and pellets, uh, the biggest difference is if you use a corner, a corner graph to measure the speed. Yeah. And you have a pellet going 900 meters per second. Once it gets to 100 yards, that pellet's probably traveling somewhere close to like 780. The velocity dies down dramatically. So the slugs are basically for long range sharp shooting and they're bigger. Um, it's how much, what's the grain difference? Cause usually my, my grain is 14 grain on the pellets I use. So for these hybrids, uh, these are 20 grain. And for the other ones that I use, they're which 20. are the knockouts, they are 25 three nines. So they are the exact same for with the 25 cal's use. Oh, okay. So they're basically almost double the weight, basically. Of a, of of, a, of a, of a, a regular smaller, pellet? Yeah, almost, almost. Wow, so that kind of makes sense. Once you put it out there and you're shooting long range, it's gonna be able to have get that velocity and not lose it because it has that weight. But wait, there's more. Whoa. So this is the Benjamin Aquila, and I paired it up with a G2 Monstrum 6 to 24 by 50. You're saying if we get any kills today, we might have some footage, yep. some scope footage. Look at this gun, guys, right here. This is an absolute beauty. And you know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like a, like some kind of gun that I've seen in a video game, bro. It's it's, it's like got a short kind of kind of stock, and it's got a really really cool look to it this is called the what this is the aquila benjamin aquila the aquila wow and it's got is this a bipod yep, like built bipod. into it just put on you just easily remove oh wow look at on. that what is what does the magazine hold on this girl uh it is 12 rounds 12 rounds yes. wow and I'm guessing it just has an easy cocking lever mechanism right Very here. Very easy cocking lever, and if you want to, you can just as easily decock it by pressing the trigger and holding it down. And then you don't have to fire wow. safety. And you also have a speed wheel, so you can turn it all the way down. It's probably running around 400 feet per second with the 18 grains, or all the way up, and all the way up is running about 930 feet per second very very cool and i see it's got a gauge right there yes. you can hold up to 3000 psi 
That's right. Wow, guys, talk about a beautiful, gorgeous gun that our friend Gene has right here. Absolute beauty. Well, I think that's all the information that we need to know for now. So we'll be back if we get any iguanas, guys, and we'll make sure and show you guys some footage. So like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. How much does it cost? Uh, 595, five, five, like six, this is six, this is 630, 640 with uh, taxes. 640. Wow. Got a tank right in your backpack. Yep. That's convenient, bro. Easy to fill. That's it. Wow. Uh, Let's go see if we can find some iguanas. Teach him a fat lesson and put him in the bag. We're taking out iguanas, y'all. PCP air rifles, shooting slugs, and teaching them a fat lesson. And our boy Trapper Gene right here, he's about to see if he can take down one that's in the tree. Now it's really hard to see them guys, but you can kind of see them right there. He's gonna see if he can teach him what he is. Oh. That's it. That's it. Nice job, bro. That Achilles putting in work, y'all, and the slugs, man. Once they, once they hit, guys, they're they're doing so much good damage that it just puts the iguanas out instantly. Not a problem. Okay, so we're back out here. It's a little bit sunnier. We're with our boy Gene. He's got the gun. What's the name of the gun again, man? Benjamin Aquila. The Aquila, y'all. We spotted another iguana, so we're gonna see if we can take him out. Ooh, good shot, bro. Thanks. Good shot. I heard that from all the way over here, man. Now it's time for the recovery. So how long have you had the gun for, dude? Ooh, I think a month and a half. And how are you liking it? I love this thing. I don't even use my gauntlet anymore. That's your baby? That's my baby. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and put this guy out because as you guys can see, he's still feisty. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Nice, man. Nice. What's the biggest thing you took down with this thing, man? Probably like five foot five, five foot six. Just because they don't get as big commonly over there in West Palm. Yeah. You won't... Oh, yeah. We're going to make some curry. How'd you know? Trini. Yeah. We're doing some removal over here. So if okay. you see any giants uh -huh. and you see us riding around, just flag okay. us down, all right? All right. We're going to take them out. All right. That's cool. And if, we, if, if you guys are still around, if we get any giants, we can give you guys some if you guys want. I, I pulled that one. Somebody asked me for one. Cheap one, Baltimore. All right. I'm going to call her. Take Chris. You put him in the thing. I'm going to call her up. I'm going to call her. I'm going to call Willis. Thank you. So you want to put him in the back? I put it in a bag. Oh, you're going to put him in the bag. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. We do the same thing, man. So, all right. All right. <laughs> we just put him in the bag. We're going to sponge it in dry. Very Good job, nice. right? Very nice. Man. Thanks, CJ. What's going on, bro? I'm in pursuit for an iguana. So, like I told you guys before, all these iguanas. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see him. He's got, dang, he's got good eyes, bro. You see him? No, I don't. It's an orange one right there, bro. In this bush. Look, 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 look where I'm looking at in this one. Jesus Christ. It's a giant. What are we going to do, CJ? We're going to promote you to Sarge. That's what we go do. <laughs> Let's go. You look back? I always look back. I always look back at trees. Like whenever I'm driving past and I see a big ass tree, yeah. look back. Dang. We never do that, CJ. We always look forward and then we just keep looking forward. That's how I spotted, <laughs> them That's how I spotted that one I was at the... Where we were at earlier? On yeah. my spot? Yeah. When I was like, yo, it's right here. Oh, oh okay. Dang. That's a big one, too. Yeah. 
supporters. Oh, heck yeah. Are you going to take them out right here? Okay. What do you... No. Nah, uh, yeah, if you think that's good. I don't... We should be able to... Well, I should be able to... So here's the here's the here's the deal, guys. Gene's gonna try to take him out with the air rifle. If he does, me and CJ is gonna try to run and grab him, right, CJ? Yes, sir. That's it. That's that's the game plan. We're working tactical here. All right. I'll let you do your thing whenever you're ready, bud. Ooh. Got him. Go. Oh, ninja's off, y'all. Ninja's in hot pursuit. Dude, you just taught that thing a fat lesson, bro. Super fat. We got him. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time to go in the bush and get the recover. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh! He domed him! Whoa, whoa! Dude, you straight domed him, bro. I think you got a pass through, dude. Let's see. That's the exit, right? Yeah? That's the exit sign. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, he's pulling out the ears. See? Sweet shot with a sweet gun. Dude, that was pretty, pretty gnarly, bro. Another one? In the bag. Yeah, buddy. My golly, Ninja, I haven't seen you this excited in a while. Yeah. Shut the car off, please. <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> that hole behind you, thing? Okay. Yes, sir. I just got a glimpse of that. Monster has been detected, sir. Oh, behind you think works, eh? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> no way. Where is he? He's, he's in that tree right there with all those branches. Yep. That thick one. He's like right, right in the front of it. Do you like a spine shot or like a head shot? It should be fine. Okay. So guys, we are still shooting the slugs, as you guys see. The one hit killing power of this new ammunition might be the difference maker, guys. But it's only if your gun accepts it. Not all guns will like using slugs. That's why. Oh, how did you see that, CJ? Bro, with the training of one DC woman, his name's really like one DC woman. And Gene. And Gene, you know, that little uh, looking back technique, even though I was driving, I just caught a glimpse of it. Even though this this uh, this tree and the the sunlight hitting on it, it's kind of orange, but you can still tell the difference from an orange you go on an orange brownish tree. You know? so. Guys, I can't see him, but I think I spot him right there. I think you got a good shot on him, bro. Spine shot. Oh, he's looking back at it. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Ninja, get him, Ninja. Get him, Ninja. Get him. Woo! Woo! Oh, my gosh. This is a giant. Oh, yeah, yeah. We go. Whoa. He's still kicking. Oh, no, no, no. He's dead. He's dead. That's a straight nerves. Oh. Oh, he's huge. Rip him out. Rip him out, boys. That he is. Yards, maybe. Yeah, about thirty yards. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Look at that shot! Look at that shot placement! Wow! Talk about perfect shot placement right there, guys. Right through the brain. Look at that. Doesn't get more humane than that, bro. Uh, into the ear, out the brain. Yeah, that's perfect. 
giant. Bro! Guys, it's safe to say that the new gun and the new ammunition. Hey, and look, see, we've either we've shot at shot at him before, or someone has shot at him before. Guys, look at that. He's even got some pellet wounds right there. I both think. Both. I think. Three feet. There's, there's a little. Nah, that, that can't be. Yeah, that's just probably from him fighting or climbing. But look at his femoral pores. How they're Yo, how per how Oh gosh, he just tail whipped my head. What? The <laughs> Guys, these things are tough. Wow. Even when he's dead, he still has instincts of defense. But yeah, back to the femoral pores. Look how pronounced those things are right there. Yeah. Look how pronounced those things are. I tell this how just his dominance, like, it's probably just has all that. Just saw that scent just coming out like at one time. Look at the jaws on this puppy. Oh, that's that an big... incredible find there, man. Good shot. That's an incredible find right there. Yeah, buddy. Guys, we're with our friend Gene. We're with the Iguana Ninja. We have his gun called the Aquila. We're shooting slugs and we're taking down giant iguanas. Whoa. How did you spot that thing? Like I said, man, the training. It was, I swear. Like I told you, I was only there for six months, man. I've been shooting for three or two. And like I learned about spotting iguanas in the tree the other day. The other day, I learned, I'm a fast learner. Well, the guy from Honduras, right? Yeah. Like I swear, anything that I really take passion for, I learn about it quick. I'm the same way. I mean, I don't, I don't play around when it comes to stuff like that. So. But as you guys see right there, all the practice and all the training has definitely paid off, y'all. Tiptoeing in my Jordans. We just got us a giant iguana. We're gonna go to a couple more spots, guys, see what's going on, and uh, we'll be back. It's like.